Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with Anatra? In this tutorial, I want to show you can easily achieve such skin tones in Photoshop for your images. So, you're basically going to be matching skin tones from the very image and pasting them and making sure that it is mapped from the highlights to mid tones and also the shadows in Photoshop. And if at all this is a video that you have always wanted, simply hit the like button on this video because it's going to help YouTube push and recommend this video to so many beginners and photographers out there and it's also going to help a channel grow in the long run if at all you haven't hit the, the subscribe button on this video simply hit the subscribe button so right now this is what we are going to be moving from and this is the before and after and we're going to be learning this from the very start to the very end with no step skip so without further ado let's get started i'm just going to come and delete this so this is the image that we have and before you can do any proceedings we first of all want to make sure that we have a given hidden photographic toning filter that we're going to be using later on so it is going to be like the final step for our color grading so make sure that you have photographic toning within photoshop so for people that have newer versions of photoshop you may notice that you don't have photographic toning under your gradient maps right here so if at all you don't have photographic toning, simply first of all come right here to window and make sure that you have gradients open right there. And after opening the gradient, simply come and click on these lines right here under the gradients. Left click on them and simply come to legacy gradient. Simply click on it. So you're going to notice that it's going to open up legacy gradients under the gradients option and close that so this is for use later on in this tutorial but the major emphasis is going to start right now so it's just going to come right here to gradient map so come adjustments right here and simply select gradient map and after doing that you can notice notice that we have a given color on the gradient but this doesn't matter for this case so what i'm going to do i'm just going to simply hide the gradient layer right here and select the gradient icon so make sure that you have selected the gradient icon and not the, la the layer mask select the gradient icon and after selecting it and making this layer invisible simply double click right here and it's going to open up the gradient editor so like i mentioned we want to copy skin tones from this exact image and we make sure to have created a nice transition from the highlights the midtones and the shadows so what i'm going to do i'm just going to simply you can see that the gradient map moves moves from the darkest color to the brightest color and this is a little bit inverted so what you have to take into consideration and understand is from the far left we have the shadows and to the far right we have the highlights or the brightest color under the gradients so we are going to simply double click on this color picker tool and it's going to open up the color picker right here so simply with the color picker tool selected make sure the sample size is 5 by 5 average because we want it to be as accurate as possible as you're simply sampling the colors in this very image so make sure i select 5 by 5 average for more accurate results so we're going to zoom into this very image and sample the darkest color on the skin tone. So I'm just going to sample this as my darkest color of the skin tone and I'll click OK. And I'm going to click in the middle to create a midpoint in the middle of the gradient right here. And make sure I type in 50 so that it can be in the middle. And after doing that, simply double click on this stopper or you can simply single click on the color and we're going to look for a color that falls within the midtones of this very image so i'm just going to choose a color that falls within the midtones so i feel like uh this color falls within the midtones just going to sample from let's sample from around here that is okay and you can even intensify that color by increasing on the saturation level by simply clicking right here and dragging it in a little bit to get a more saturated color of that point and click OK and simply double click on the brightest color 
and choose the brightest color of the skin by left clicking right there and click OK. So you can notice that this has sampled from the darkest color in the skin tone from the exact image to the brightest color of the skin tone and you're going to simply hit on OK. So after doing that, we're simply going to zoom out by pressing Command minus on the keyboard to zoom out. And now we're going to activate the gradient layer. And after acti activating it, we're simply going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal. And we're going to change it all the way down to soft light. So you can notice that the color grading or the gradient is affecting the overall image and we want it only affect the skin tone of the model. So what we are going to do, we are going to first of all close this and make sure we select the white layer mask in this case. And after doing that, we are going to simply press Ctrl I on the keyboard or if at all you are using Mac, you can press Command I to invert the effect. Remember in Photoshop, black is going to hide and white is going to reveal. That is why the effect has been hidden behind this black mask. So after doing that, we're going to come and get the brush tool. Make sure it is the brush tool and make sure the settings, the hardness is set all the way to 0%, opacity in the flat 100%, and make sure to have black and white on these color swatches right here. Make sure you have black and white. Or you can reset by pressing the D key. Press D, yeah, D for dog. So press D to reset to black and white. Make sure white is the color on top or you can switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard so what i'm going to do, i'm just going to paint only on the skin using white a white foreground color meaning the brush is going to be set to white remember what i just told you white is going to reveal and black is going to hide so using a white brush i'll simply paint on the skin of a model just like that i'm just going to paint quickly because i don't want this to be a very long tutorial so you have to take your time and be careful with the painting process so right now i've painted on the skin but this is also painting extras or away from what we are meant to paint in this case so what i'm going to do in this case i'll simply switch the brush back to black by using x on the keyboard you can use this arrow to make sure that you have black black on top and reduce on the size of the brush and to clean better use the slash key on the keyboard to show you the mask and you can simply erase the colors from the extras that you painted because right now you can see the extras and paint back that red color and eliminate the extras from the areas you may have accidentally painted in your image just like that so just paint and be precise with this so after doing that, simply press the slash key once again. And you can notice that we have now only affected the skin tones or skin of the model. But the effect is a little bit strong. And now the effect is also affecting the eyes. So what we are going to do, we are also going to erase the effect from affecting the eyes of the model by erasing the effect and painting using black to eliminate or hide the effect from the model's eyes or even the eyeshadow or even the lipstick, or even the teeth, if at all, they have been affected in this case. So I'm just going to also paint right there. So after doing that, count the opacity and reduce on the opacity because I feel like the effect is a little bit strong for our liking. So at around 59, that looks okay. And remember what we just created using the gradient, or the gradients in Photoshop. We created a Ligasa gradient at the start of this tutorial. So we're going to come back to the gradients right here and select gradient map so under gradient map you're going to simply single click on that color and scroll down to legacy gradients and come to photographic toning and scroll all the way down and we're going to choose the gold one color and simply hit ok and change the blend mode once again to soft light and now the effect is affecting the overall image and you just want it to be as subtle as possible so come the opacity and simply reduce the opacity to the one of your liking so this is more of a fine tuning step to get a better and more richer golden skin tone or warm skin tone for that case around 2020 looks okay 
and this is the before after before after and if at all you feel like it's affecting the overall image you can simply invert this layer mask and paint only on the areas of the skin that you want to be affected so i'll put this two in a group by pressing ctrl g or command g on the keyboard and show you the before after before after and if at all it is too much calm the opacity and reduce on the opacity of the overall group so this is the before after before after before after so this is how you can easily color grade your images using the gradient maps or gradients in photoshop and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating